All right, Aaron Beers, we went to the Have a Grace Reptile Show, so let's show you real quick what we got there. It was uh, this shirt from our leader reptiles. And uh, let's show you the show real quick. Just got to the Harvard A. Grace Reptile Expo in Maryland, and uh, I had to pick up some rats, so I figured, why not bring you guys along? Check it out. Oh man, look at that. That's what I was told. Super red. Man. It's a crestua, crusty chihuahua. Yeah. See, some people get weirded out about hybrids. And they're cool. Yeah. It's uh, definitely best of both worlds for sure. Yeah. I was going to say, like, <laughs> when I first looked at it, if I wouldn't have, I just read it, but. I wouldn't have known what it was. <laughs> that is cool. Thank you. That's fun. Man, how long have you been breeding these? Um, I've only done three of the, I've only done a couple, had a couple to hatch out. Um, mm -hmm. I've been, it was an experiment uh, last year just to see how it went. And I mean, it's not easy to do, but I'm really happy with the results. Not yeah, every yeah. not every egg hatched. Yeah, sure. But You'd the ones that, that did was Empire, you know yeah. absolutely <laughs> so exciting. It almost looks like they sparkle, like it's the craziest thing. Yeah. And they have these uh olive green eyes, which yeah. is I don't know if you can see with the light, but uh it's really unusual. I'm not sure where that came from. The Cresteds yeah. don't have the green eyes, the Chihuahuas don't. So uh, it has Looks like a two eye though. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely not has the same color. Yep. Man. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, I, I definitely want to make some more. I got plenty of hate for them, <laughs> but I got probably uh, twice the amount of love as well. Yeah. And I mean, I, I love them. I think they're gorgeous. Yeah, they are awesome looking. I mean, people are freaking out sometimes about going against, sort of going against nature, but, you know, the way the laws are going anymore, the only animals you'll be able to keep are hybrids because they don't exist in the wild. Yep, that's very true. <laughs> yeah, actually, has their way. well, yeah, yeah sci uh, scientists are actually, um, there's been quite a few articles written recently about hybrid zones. Yep. Um, where sure. animals like this are happening in nature, which... Is kind of what I, you know. Oh, they for sure will. If it wasn't meant to be, it wouldn't have happened. Right. For sure, some of them would in, in general, just the way it is. Right. So, cool. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks yeah. for visiting. Show off your business name here. Rodents has snakes. I don't know if you guys knew that. <laughs> Some people do. What do you got going on? This isn't Rick, by the way. <laughs> nah, this is Poppy. What's going on? This little guy. Man. You know, people hate on spiders sometimes, but you just, I mean, that's probably one of the prettiest spider combos I've ever seen. Really. I mean, it's super, super clean. And the orange is perfect. I mean, really, people get all mad, but it's crazy. You want to explain the tang? <laughs> the tang is pretty much a good upgrade from like an orange dream, sort of. Yeah. Uh, 
does it blend with each other? We haven't know, we don't know yet. We haven't put them together yet, but we'll find out hopefully this year if it's compatible. Gotcha. And if it's compatible, then yeah, we go from there. But pretty much a regular tang almost resembles a high intensity orange drink for what I feel, what I see. So that's good. That's cool, man. Where did Tang come from, sir? Oh, it originated from Ralph Davis. <laughs> and Ralph Davis has a lot of stuff that he's not sure what's in it. Pretty so. much, yeah. He put a lot <laughs> of stuff on the back burners. Yes, he did. Well, it's cool, man. This is some beautiful animals. One of these days, I'll be picking up more than just rats at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> Probably this year. Probably this year. So it was a pretty good show. It's a little small, but it was packed. The line went around the building. It was kind of crazy. I saw a bunch of friends that uh, I don't get to see that often, so that was fun. And thank you to Robert Leader for the shirt. He has uh, our Leader Reptiles. Pretty cool guy. You guys got to go check him out. He's in the local shows in the Northeast. And uh, yeah, I think you can check him out on Instagram or Facebook. And thank you so much. Let's go see what all this stuff we got going on here. Ryan's going to talk about file snakes. And here we have one of our favorite species of snake. This is a forest file snake. We showed you this one when we got it in as a baby and it was only like this long. Well, it's growing like a weed. Uh, yes, in shed, but a beautiful purple color. If you can get close in on those scales, the super ridge scales, keeled scales. That's why they're called file snakes. And this guy will get considerably larger. We have a group of 2.2 of these right now, and we're hoping to get some more in. We also have some cape files that routinely get confused with these, and I think in the next video or two, we're gonna do a whole sort of expose on those, because I don't think we actually made a video yet of that group that we brought in. But we'll be able to show you the differences between the two. Um, they all just ate yesterday, so I'm concerned about, you know, doing all this with them and then they get upset and regurgitate their food so next couple next couple videos we'll we're gonna do a nice little uh file snake video R &B reptiles presents yeah they're the best they're super cool so here we have a hundred flower rat snake uh, it's uh the scientific name is a molendorfi look at the checkered belly this actually has a this actually has a recessive gene in it called aberrant, which takes these large dots and breaks them all up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them really well because he's jetting around, but they have beautiful red heads. If you can see that. Also this awesome red and orange tail. Mm -hmm. And this guy is I guess a year old now, huh? Two. No way. Two years old. It, well, yeah, we we bought them uh, before March Tinley of last year. Hmm. So he's the he's probably a year and a half, maybe. Anyway, these maybe get little. way bigger than this, uh, like six, seven foot long. They stay skinny, and they're very beautiful and active animals. They're diurnal, so you can see the large round pupils. That means they are active during the daytime. And uh, really awesome animals. Uh, we only have a male right now. We're hoping to pick up a female for them. But uh, yeah, you don't see these around too often. They're exciting. They're a species I really wanted to get into. A lot of people say they're very bitey and that they uh, try to tear you up. But really, I mean, it doesn't seem to be. I mean, when you live at a different house and you never have to deal with them, sure. <laughs> Things so nice. <laughs> Look at him. He's super calm. He is being very well behaved. Mm hmm. With rat snakes, they like to jut around a lot and move really fast, usually, so. To have it holding still is a treat. Mm hmm. So. Very cool animal. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. Tune in next time when we show you more animals. <laughs> Make sure you guys are watching these videos that we're putting up here for you. Click subscribe if you haven't been subscribed yet. I mean, come on. It's not hard. Click it. And then uh, make sure you like this video if you do. And comment down below. Let us know what 
if you're if you're looking for more Colubrid videos, we'd love to show you some. Oh yeah, we're gonna be going live soon, aren't we? Should do that. Mm-hmm. Armed Reptile Live. That's right. <laughs>